Okay, today's topic is a is a heavy one, and fortunately, it's one that the high likelihood we could we could take care of this. But let, let me let me let me read the email I got from a mother in this case. Our life as a family five years ago changed drastically. We are a loving family who unfortunately was the target of a psychotic sexual abuser. He sexually abused my children using a variety of torture and criminal ways beyond anything a human could imagine. She wasn't specific about this, but she used the word torture, so you can, you can imagine. Our children were diagnosed with PTSD, and as a result of this, they still have anxiety, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorders, depression, anger issues, and low self-esteem. I would imagine there's more beyond that as well. I heard about you through your YouTube videos and would like to ask you, you know, for some help and so on. So let me address this. This unfortunately goes on, versions of this go on uh, more often than we would care to know actually but this kind of thing comes across my desk with some some unfortunate regularity but it's ideal for us because what we do is we we approach these things not with you know pills and and endless endless therapy sessions and talk about it and 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 so on um we do it differently we actually go to the cause, and the cause here is quite often there's a lot of emotional, unresolved emotional stuff that occurred. At the very events that occurred as this torture, this abuse was occurring. I don't need to go into all the graphics here, but you can do this with a child. And if they're too young to to really talk about this, she doesn't mention the age of her children here, whether they're teenagers now and, you know, can actually tell you what was going on and get down to specific events and work with you with the unseen therapist. Um, but you as a parent would have some idea what actually happened. And even if you don't know the exact details of what happened, you can still imagine them it's and that's okay to do here with our specific events we we want to get down to the specific events what really happened and very important very important here what is the emotional response to that by the child i'm angry about it as a child i am fearful about it as a child i am confused as a child I am whatever, 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 okay? But we're aiming at the emotional thing. See, we, we're not going to be able to change what actually happened. That's like trying to change a, like a baseball score or something. But we can take the emotional sting out of it. And that's where this works so very nicely. They can start with a specific event. Oh, I can remember that this happened. And, uh, uh, yes, and I'm, oh, God. I'm just thinking about it, I get to a 10 on a 0 to 10 scale. And I have nightmares about it and everything else. Well, that's being very specific, which is ideal for us. Now, we, we take that specific thing, that specific event, the emotional crescendo in it. We bring an unseen therapist to bring in her peace. That's actually, that's actually that she's actually within us. Okay, so we're bringing that spiritual healing power to the top of the table and properly done. That particular specific event no longer has any sting to it. It's still not someone's favorite dinner time topic. Okay. But the but the the heaviness, the burden, the thud, the thump, the sting of all of that—it's just that's just an unfortunate event. 
Okay. Something like falling off my bicycle when I was five years old. I skinned my knee and didn't like it. Okay. Properly done. That's what really happens here. And so when you take the sting out of that, and then the next, the next event and the next event and the next event and the next event, you get more personal peace for the child who may, who may now be an adult or whatever, but you get more personal peace. And as you get more personal peace, these things don't fade from memory. It's not like you forget them. It's just like they're not that important anymore. They don't replay themselves. You know, as you try to navigate your way through this world, have romantic opportunities, for example, and things like that, they don't repay themselves and limit you everywhere you go, socially and, and romantically and um how, however else they may they may show up in the, you know in the business world and how you conduct yourself the decisions you make and and so on the o, the the ocd can fade the ptsd fades the nightmares fade i've seen it i've dealt i've dealt with i can't tell you how many war veterans who have ptsd with some of the most god awful experiences they've had and things they've had to do and so on and almost almost like magic, but you, you've got to do it well. Okay, this is not the kind of thing you just, you know, read a couple of paragraphs in, in a book and say, oh, that's how you do it. No, no it, takes, it takes skill to do it. But those skills are there. And if you will look at the essential links below this video, you will see my free intro book called The Unseen Therapist. You'll see links to advanced courses, uh, my free newsletter, and so on. So... I mean, it's a very learnable thing, and you don't have to be a psychiatrist, psychologist, or anything else to learn it um, and and do it very masterfully. Okay, but anyway, the, uh, I would I would urge anyone in that category to really explore this because there's a lot of freedom, and I've seen freedom occur here where nothing else, nothing else would work. Anyway, I hope that, that sets you off in the right direction. I hope it helps. We'll see you next time.